Hey there folks, it's uh, about 7.20 a.m. Um, uh, excuse me, 7.40 a.m. Uh, a little after that, 7.42 a.m. Uh, September 8th, I believe. It's a Thursday, I believe. Anyway, uh, 2016. Um, I had some uh, metaphysical brain classes and uh, I wanted people to understand how the brain functions and we went over a lot of stuff in the classes, okay? Uh, everyone got their money's worth. Um, I told them I was going to give them some other information, written stuff or, uh, um, you know, something. So I'm, I have to do it now to the video. Um, the actual video that we took on Skype of the classes, uh, both of them are so worthless. You, you can't even, the voice gets in and out. You I can't help it. It was uh, Skype issues that were done. <clears throat> that's information, excuse me, back then. That uh, That's information that was not, that what was, there was stuff on the other side that was, did not want that information to get out. Remember, there's been a lot of stuff over there, even clean stuff that was arrogant, that did not want to lose this uh, format of creation where, you know, there's something over there that can play God that's not allowed anymore. Uh, controlling major issues that need to be uh, um, uh, kept from growing, yes. Um, but this, you know, control freak stuff, no. <coughs> excuse me, the constant abuse and stuff of everything, it, stuff's insane and it's gone, it's about to be finished being gone. Anyway, um, so this is what I'm putting out instead. This is good for everyone. Um, uh, this is, uh, this is, so to speak, standard reading, uh, standard class material, learning material for, uh, um, family members doing crank ups. Um, this is good for everyone. Just understand how your brain works, okay? Now, um, inside your body, you have a core energy that goes up and down your spine. Uh, starts basically uh, just below, uh, it starts in the pelvic bone, just below where the uh, spine attaches to it, and then it goes up all the way to the top part of your head here, the upper crown, okay? <clears throat> and it flows in and out of itself, okay? It just, it's flowing, it kind of goes in, and then out and around, and then out and around, and then in. It kind of goes like that, but it goes through itself at the same time. Uh, if water could move through each other, move through itself, then it'd be like two streams meeting each other and going by each other, through each other, whatever. Um, it's kind of different stuff. Anyway, uh, uh, that's the core energy. That's where most of the power is. The solar plexus energy field is inside the core. Okay, mostly inside the core. Uh, on the average, two-thirds of the solar plexus energy field is within the core, uh, right about where the gut is. Just a, um, you know, It's in the gut. Um, uh, then also there's the, uh, um, I'm just covering the major fields here that are relative to uh, <coughs> you using your abilities. And then the other one, the next one up, is the heart energy, which is right around where the heart is, okay? Um, the heart energy is touching inside the core, but it's not buried within it. It's off It's off in the core just a little bit. Um, uh, that's uh, uh, when someone is solar plexus, they feel gut energy and stuff really strong, very strong gut feeling. When they're heart energy, they feel stuff more through the body, okay? Uh, fingertips, uh, uh, feet, you know, but the fingertips, the uh, palms, they get hotter, they sweat, get tingle, um, they feel stuff all through the body. Uh, this is generally speaking, okay? Um, and then the next one going up is the, uh, we call pineal, but it's like, you know, the brain, but the, it's pineal focused. Um, uh, it's seeing things, okay? And they're the people that feel more in their head when they're getting cranked up. Um, now, the core energy goes straight up and down. It's flowing all the time. It's got two energies in it right now. Two, excuse me. It's got two spirits in it right now, two sentient energies in it. Um, one is part of the planet. The other one is your visiting spirit. Uh, the, um, the planetary part is uh, what, can, what used to be part of Gaia and was separated to have its own separate lives. Uh, is usually about 40%, 60% is a visiting spirit. Now, 
that's what's going in and out of the body, flowing in and out all over the place. Okay, just nonstop. It, it's it, it's in the body, but if you know the energy from it flows out everywhere because it's so big. But the strong parts of it are going straight up and down, right in there. It's amazing how energy can focus itself uh, within a solid uh, being and still be energy. Um, all right, now how does this all work? How does it put together? Where do you, how do your abilities run? Okay, now uh, solar plexus. The solar plexus gets a lot of energy, goes right through all the crowns and everything else. Okay, first, I need to finish stating where everything is. Um, you have the, uh, okay, we have the sacral, uh, the uh, the base chakra, that's where uh, emotions are. That'll mess you up, that'll really screw you up, okay? And your earth energy likes to hang around there, and it's used to using that to manipulate what the body does, okay? Okay. Um, not a good thing. The new, new lives are coming where there's single core, uh, single spirit cores. Okay, the earth energy is going to not be going to be going in there. They need to be cleaned, fixed, dealt with the way they need to to help them and or and or everyone else the, the properly, and then they need to be in planets, not people. Okay, um, and that that'll make them happy. They're, they're suffering. Um, anyway. Um, so uh, the base shock, the base shocker, you want to keep, you know, subdued. Uh, you want to subdue as much as you can. You, you can't just keep it subdued, but subdued. But that's a basic. Like it'd be good if we could thought process. Um, now the uh, energy coming up through your body, uh, solar plexus is like an on-off knowing thing. It's a knowing thing. The energy comes up. It, uh, it goes past the heart. The the um, pineal gland starts right here. Uh, the pineal energy field, excuse me, starts right here <laughs> and then uh, 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 and ends right here in the middle of the forehead. That's not your gland. <laughs> anyway, uh, the pineal gland is actually in the back part of the brain stem. Uh, and uh, you can Google that, find it for yourself, okay? Um, but that's the energy field right here. Um, now, uh, inside your body, Okay, inside the brain going up. Um, there's a hypothalamus. It's like just pretend this is the hypothalamus right here, okay? And then there's an energy field that kind of, it's like if you put a blanket on it, it floats up above it. There's an energy field right here. It's, it's the lower crown. There's three basic crowns, okay? So there's the lower crown. Now, in between these two things, it's, it, it, the energy, information, knowledge, every, everything goes, uh, understanding, everything moves all in and out. The hypothalamus gland pretty much creates understanding, okay? Um, it has help with the heart and everything else. Actually, I'll explain that in just a minute. But then here's the lower crown. And then above that right here, it's like a magnifying lens is the middle crown. And then there's the upper crown, okay? The upper crown's right here. This is like the upper crown, okay? Some people it's like this, some people it's like this. After people get cranked up, it goes way down. It's way open, okay? And more energy flows in and out. Now, if you took a magnifying glass, put it on your head, and let it sink down to where it's just barely touching the top of your ears right around that, but it's inside your brain, it's a lens. Okay, that is your middle crown, okay? Now, what happens as things move through the crown? We're gonna get back to the solar plexus stuff in a minute. I wanna catch this first. Um, information comes in through the top of your crown. It's a little bit of a funnel like this, okay? Just a little bit, just a little bit of a funnel that comes straight in. And then it, it focuses a little bit coming through the upper crown, and then it hits that uh, middle lens inside your head, okay? The, the middle crown, it hits that uh, uh, lens, and that focuses it onto that uh, uh, lower crown. And then the lower crown takes that condensed information and then it, 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 it sends it to the hypothalamus that floats right above it. And it's almost like there's an electrical energy storm going on in between the two of them all the time, but it's energy, okay? It's electrical, mag uh, metaphysical, magnetic energy. I've proven that on uh, when I went to uh, Martin uh, Martin's head out in, uh, uh, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Sweden, uh, while he was had a, the quantitative electroencephalogram on his head. Uh, but anyway... Um, and then hypothalamus uses it for thought, uh, for uh, uh, creating understanding. Takes thought, turns it into understanding. Uh, you see images, all kinds of stuff goes through there. Okay, now also with the hypothalamus. It's, it, so the hypothalamus works with all the crowns. Okay, also the hypothalamus <clears throat> works with the pineal gland. When the pineal sees things multidimensionally, 
that goes right into the hypothalamus gland. Okay, the, the, the pituitary gland, it's like an energy field that's like a motorcycle helmet that's on your head, and then there's a hole cut out where the uh, um, crown is. And then it just flows all over the place. It helps build high definition clarity on everything you're seeing. Picture Jasper works really good for that, um, for, for the pituitary gland. Now the pineal gland is actually in the back part of the brain stem, but it goes flows through it and goes right to here to here. Okay, now the pineal gland sends information to the uh, hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is getting all that information directly in through the uh, uh, crowns. Okay, it's also got information coming from the core energy. It goes up into it. It comes uh, information that comes from the gut, the solar plexus, from the heart. All of that it comes up into the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is like a control point. Okay, the pituitary gland. Okay, it's over. It's in the front part of the brainstem, and but it goes out everywhere. That information goes into the hypothalamus also. So the hypothalamus is the control point, Grand Central Station, for all these uh, uh, sensory inputs and uh, things that are being done. Uh, it creates an understanding, and it does it with the use of all your different uh, uh, metaphysical abilities. Uh, okay, coming from other glands and whatever, everywhere, energy and physical uh, uh, parts of your brain also. Uh, the scanner, the scanner where you see remote viewing, that actually happens in a base part of the brain. That goes right into the hypothalamus also. So all your abilities run through the hypothalamus gland, okay, uh, in that area, that region immediate there. Um, that's quick, it's fast, but that's the basis of uh, uh, how it all works. That's how it all ties together. Um, Solar plexus is kind of a, it, it's mostly an on-off, like yes or no kind of thing, or a gut feeling that moves around a little more and it gets a little deeper, okay? It, it, you, it, it can be, it's more articulate than an on and off switch. It's like it's got different dimmers in there, slide up and down for different information, but you get a gut feeling, okay? Um, the heart, the heart's really strong. The heart literally takes, um, takes emotions from your base chakra, pulls it up, takes raw data, knowledge, from your brain relative to the number eight, pulls it down into your heart. It, it pulls it down into it. And it takes that and, and it creates a feeling. The feeling it sends outward in the heart and then it comes back in, but it also, uh, the, the heart also takes that uh, uh, feeling, puts it up back into the hypothalamus, it gets remixed again with other stuff and comes down as understanding. So the heart and the hypothalamus do work together for understanding, the to create understanding. The hypothalamus does more work than the heart does on the understanding part of it. But the heart has to have it create the feeling first. And see, it, it's, it's just the body working, body parts working in unison. Now, um, the heart, as when your heart energy reaches out, when it comes back in, it pulls in heart energy from other people. Our hearts are everywhere, are talking everywhere. That's why when people are really sensitive with their heart and they're not super strong yet, or they're in bodies and uh, they have some energy that, you, that used to belong to the planet inside their core with them that's really skiddy, then it, it's hard for them to, you know, to just be in an area where there's a lot of people because there's so much going on. It's like, why are they so afraid that people are just there? Well, well because they're talking with all of them. They, they have a huge conversation. It's like everyone's screaming at them, that's why. It's a very natural thing, folks. Things are much simpler than you think, okay? The more you find out about yourself, just like this, the more you're gonna understand why things happen. And then everything, your life, things in your life start to fall into place. You, you're, uh, you're, every time you take na uh, data, knowledge, um, once you consume it, relax with it, it becomes understanding through the heart and the hypothalamus. Then you understand things. The larger your collection of understandings, the greater your wisdom. Okay? Which, remember, doesn't mean you're any better than anyone else. It's just the greater your wisdom. You've just improved, made your ability to understand and function properly better. Um, anyway, um, so the heart, when, when people are really strong, uh, empathic with their heart, when they reach out and get in from, everyone does this all the time, but when they're really strong in the heart, it's easier for them to reach out and grab other, you know, concentrate on a person and feel them directly. When you feel their heart, <coughs> when you feel their heart energy, excuse me, when you feel someone else's heart energy, 
What, what's in that heart energy? Their emotions, understanding that they have, plus raw data from the brains. Sometimes people with heart energy, they actually feel like they're reading someone's mind. They're not. But they are getting and reading some of the thoughts that are mixed up in heart energy. They're not in the person's brain. You know, they're not allowed there. But, um, and it doesn't go, it doesn't work like that. It just can't function like that. Um, to go in someone's brain, you have to be ridiculously powerful and go straight in. But anyway, uh, um, so you are getting thoughts. Some of their thoughts and their emotions and everything else. Uh, that's why the heart feels so much. <clears throat> it creates, excuse me, it creates feeling. Um, the pineal. Oh, damn, I forgot something on the uh, crank up thing. Anyway, um, on the uh, pineal gland, the pineal gland sees multidimensionally everywhere. Okay? All over the place. <coughs> um... The pineal gland um, is very important. It helps you see multidimensional beings everywhere. Okay, it really helps you see when they're the scanner right here. You can see in and out of dimensions when they're close, like subdimensional and some, and a little bit into the next dimension. But it does not have the power of the pineal to see like that. Now the uh, also the scanner does have much more clarity, high definition clarity in what it's seeing. Okay. Um, but the pineal sees more shapes, shadows, and it does get an image. Um, people who are solar plexus oftentimes uh, oriented, uh, their, that's when that's the strongest part of their frequencies, um, they get all kinds of images and stuff, and they're usually very good through the scanner. Uh, that is a quick course, but it's also a complete course in how the brain and your body function together to work. Okay? Um, if you can understand just what I told you, just what I quickly put out there, from there you can grow further, but you'll already be in a place where other people have no idea how to get there. You can spend 50 grand with a guru and you'll never get there. You can learn what he wants you to. There, 99% of them are just controlling people. They have such a kind heart, they're so loving. What happens when you do something they don't approve of? Oh, he gets mad. Oh, yeah, he's loving. Um, what, uh, that's controlling. Anyway, folks, whatever. Love you. Have a good